All right, welcome back everyone. Dr. Ben, not a real doctor here. And let's talk about the arch of your foot. Specifically, we're gonna talk about how you can address a fallen arch. Before we start, let's talk about what the arch of your foot is. There actually isn't a hard structure that creates the arch in your foot. Your bones in your foot are highly mobile, highly flexible, and everything that creates the illusion of the arch is basically soft tissue. It's muscle and ligament connective tissue that creates your arch. It's actually really easy to start training these muscles and recreating an arch if you've lost the arch in your foot. A big part of it's barefoot time because modern footwear basically casts your foot and doesn't allow your foot to move the way it's designed. And all of the muscles in your foot and a lot of the muscles in your lower legs atrophy. So it makes it really hard for your feet to support your weight and do their job, which is what the arches are for. So let's talk about how you can start retraining your arches. You can create the arch in your foot with hip torque. It's not so much using your feet as much as it is engaging your hips. By engaging your hips properly, you engage the spiral structures in your legs and flex all those muscles and pull your feet in and create an arch in your foot. So to create your arch, you want to externally rotate your hips. So think about turning your knees out away from each other, right? And then as you do that, you wanna think about keeping your feet, the ball of your foot in place. You don't want your foot to raise up. You want your hips to rotate out, keep the ball of your foot in place, and you're going to create an arch in your foot. Let's start by getting the basic movement down. So I'm gonna pull up my shorts here so you can see my knees a little better. So you wanna take your kneecaps and turn them so they point away from each other, all right? Sticks everywhere here. So anchor your feet to the ground. Don't let your feet move. Don't let the balls of your feet move. And all you're gonna do is turn your kneecaps so they face away from each other. And you don't wanna let your knees bend and you don't wanna let your, the arches of your feet come up, okay? So anchor your feet, rotate your knees away. That's going to engage all of the support structures all the way down your leg into your feet, and it's going to create an arch. Now, the way that you continue on this is one, you practice holding this position because it's always hard when you haven't done it before, and these muscles need to wake up again. You need to start getting control over them. But as you do it more and more, this will become automatic. You won't have to think about it, and your feet will just support you. Now, the next step you can do is grab the ground with your toes, and that's gonna really engage all the muscles in the bottom of your foot. All right, uh, if you, a resource I highly recommend is the Foot Collective. If you follow their stuff, they call this the short foot. It's called lots of things by lots of different people. But where I first learned about it was the Foot Collective, and they call it the short foot. So turn your knees away from each other, engage the muscles in your feet and your lower legs, and then start to grab the ground with your feet. Now the next step of this is to practice single leg balancing. So get into this position and then you can shift your weight and lift the opposite foot and try and maintain your hip rotation and the short foot. And this is really, really, really going to engage and train those muscles in your feet and in your lower leg. And if you really get good at this, then you can start trying to do it on a balance beam, which is where it gets really challenging. So, these are the initial steps in regaining control over the bottom of your foot and allowing your foot to support your whole body weight. Not complicated stuff. You just have to work at it regularly and practice and really be diligent with it. That's all there is to it. 10 to 15 minutes, two or three times a day, and you can make a huge difference in a really short period of time. That paired with other things like rolling your feet out, I'll put a video link up here somewhere. Um, but that's all you got to do. Just keep working at it. That's all I got for you. If you liked the video, smash that thumbs up. Share the video with somebody who can benefit from it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you haven't checked out any of my online courses, check them out. There's a, there's a couple really cool ones on there. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Until next time, keep your life in motion.